What if Deku was killer Sen? Part God damn it. Part five, I think. Huh, maybe. But anyway, let's begin. It's a next day after what happened and Aizawa say Okay, today is important. It will show what happened in the class. So you better make your choice wisely. Everyone was scared and so nervous. And Aizawa say, today you guys will choose your class presidents or class leaders or class president. And everyone was glad to know that it wasn't like before expelling someone. And and everyone tried to put themselves to no, nominate themselves. And Iza, Izawa, no, no, Izawa, no. Ida say, you guys, we have to do this. Like in the proper way with a voting system, and as I was say, correct, you know? So you guys better choose who you think would be a great choice for a class president or class rep. And everyone make a choice, and as I was say, oh, and you guys better not try to think to vote yourself. Or else you guys will be expelled. And everyone starts scared. And Aizawa, the one that choose, would look at all of this this time. So they don't have a chance to book themselves. And everyone... After everyone book who they want to be, the winner of this was Izoko. And the vice rap the vice rap is Momo Yoyorozu. They are on the lunch break and they is sitting. Izuku is sitting with Izuku is sitting with Kendo, Bakoko, Ida, Todoroki No, Ida, Uraka, Mina, Kaminari. Zero and hmm, Kishima. I almost forgot his name. They all talk and they they explain about why they want to become a hero. Izuku know about Izuku was surprised that Uraka family was having a, a problem and he was surprised to know that Uraka want to become a, a, a hero to help his family. To live a easier life, and Izuku say that was a that was a admirable admirable ambition, Uraka-san. And Uraka say thank you, Izuku, thank you, Midoriya-chan, Midoriya-kan. And Izuku say, please just call me Izuku. And you guys, please just call me Izuku. And everyone say. Say sure. And when it is come to Kirishima, he explained that he was actually somewhat weakling and somewhat tired and scared before. But he was but thank to him his no thank to his favorite hero Crimson Riot. He Train himself and make him more brave, bravery and choose to become more manlier. And Izuku say that also a um, admirable ambition. And everyone explain everything. And when they talk, there's someone, someone hit Ida on the back of her, his head, and Ida turn around and he they see Monoma, Monoma, and he say. Sorry, I don't see your your big headed. And your big headed is on my way. On the, is blocking my way. 
Your class 1A is so full of yourself, isn't it? With a stupid looking face of him. And he's somewhat bragging and somewhat insulting his class. And... And Kendo say, hey, leave us alone. And because of Kendo, not in the class 1A, Honoma is more brag is full more full of his self and he say <laughs> Monoma say don't get in my way you class you you are just you a stupid mutt and after Izuku hearing that he immediately stand up and Izuku look at him and say what did you say about her and Monoma say, I say he, she is a stupid. And before Monoma can talk, speak at all, before Monoma can finish his sentence, Izuku punch Monoma to the ground with a quite a force. Someone cracking the ground. And then he pu he pull Monoma up by his collar and Izuku somehow make Monoma stay unconscious unconscious and he Monoma look at what happening and Izuku say listen here you little shit if you ever insult my friend I will make sure that no one can find your corpse Monoma was in scare because Izuku somewhat is his wing is now showing and there the people of the UA make an adjustment for Izuku close so his wing can show so Izuku can use his wing and Izuku summon gets the blaster and his bone and he say do you understand me? And Monoma was scared and he said, Yes, I do. Please, let me, please put me down. And then Izuku throw Monoma to the ground and say, Leave now. Monoma is scared so he immediately ran out of the cafeteria. And everyone saying this, and they somewhat scared. And Izuku sit back, and he take a deep breath and say sorry for what I did. And Kirish Kirishima say, "No, dude, that was so cool and manly of you to you protect your your girlfriend from that guy." And Izuku said, "What girlfriend?" And Kendo and Izuku somewhat started to blush. Mostly Kendo blushing like tomato, while Izuku blush a little. And Izuku and Kishima asked, wait, are both of you dating? Both of you so close to each other. And Izuku saying that we actually a friend, so that's why we are close. And Kendo say, yeah, we are actually a friend, while somewhat upset. And the girls see that and they say, Poor Kendo. Because they know that Kendo have a big crush on Izuku. Izuku now. No. They starting. They continue eating and then the bell ring. The siren ring and the upperclassmen say, It's a hill, a villain attack. And everyone starting to panic. And everyone go to the try to get out from the UA. And Izuku look to the window at the window to see that he's just watched the new the news the media and Izuku try to say, say hey it's just the media, but they don't listen at all. 
and Izuku getting annoyed. So he opened the he opened the window and he summoned a gust of blaster and blast a a gust of blaster blast to the sky and they uh, make a big noise and everyone look at him even the media who are outside of the UA and Izuku says it's just the media you idiot you guys want have you want to become a hero so how about you guys try to for once of your life try not to be a sort of scurdy cat and be a brave and think like a hero before you guys do such thing and please I have to do something and Izuku using his shortcut and he teleport outside of the outside of the UA gate no inside of UA gate no in front of UA gate and he look at the media and say do you guys have any idea what you guys is doing right now you are interrupting the student for what for us a, a hot a gossip do you know how frustrated it for the teacher and look what you did because of this the student is was worried for nothing so can you guys just please leave this the campus now? Izuku sending a bloodless and the media get his care and Izuku destroying all of the camera and Aizawa seeing this and he smirk and Izuku say be gone yeah, I have to do the meme. Everyone starting to run away. And Izuku. Izuku. Aizawa look at Izuku and say, Nice job. You know, right, you cannot use your quirk in public yet. And Zuku say, yeah, I know, sorry about that. And Aizawa say, but I will, I will slide it, I will make this a slide. Because you help me a lot. So, go, you can continue whatever you do before what happened. Okay? And Izuku smart and say, thank you Aizawa. And Aizawa say, no problem. So it's a next a f next day and everyone go to the USJ and Izuku and Kendo is sitting with each other and Izuku is asleep and he sleep on Kendo's shoulder and everyone every girl this Kendo is teasing Kendo and Bakugo say no he started to say Kendo and Izuku sitting on the tree. K I S S I N G. And Kendo say, After he. You were lucky that he wasn't awake. Or else you'd be dead, you know. And is, can, Baku say, Yeah, I know. And Aizawa say, Shut up. We already here. So get up of the bus. Kendo wake up Izuku and say, Izuku, we are here, so come on, let's go. And Izuku yawn and say, yeah, sure. Everyone get out of the bus and they meet the hero 13. And 13 explain about the USJ and what is, what the acronym, what it stand for. When they go to the inside of the USJ, Izuku somewhat sense something weird, something weird, and he look to the 
to the middle to the middle of the USJ and he see a portal and when I when 30 explain everything Kishima look and say cool there are fake villains as well and Ki the 13 and Aizawa was confused and then they look and Aizawa already know what it is what it is so he immediately say everyone stand back they are real villain and Aizawa started to jump and he tell Izuku you are one of the strongest you are the strongest here so p try to protect the class your classmate and Izuku say understand that but what about you and Aizawa say I can handle myself just try to protect them and get them out of the USJ now. Izuku understand this, so they try to get everyone out of here. And before they can get out, Korogiri say, "I will not let you guys get past through me." And Izuku say. Izuku say, everyone, we have to, get, we have to get Ida out of here. And Ida was confused. What Izuku say? And Izuku say, you are the faster. You are the fastest one here. And I have to, I have to protect everyone. So I have leave it all to you. Call the hero and come to rescue us now. Izuku. Izuku, take Ida and run and throw Ida outside of the USJ and the door is closed, shut. And Ida say, everyone! And Izuku say, just go! Ida immediately know the only thing he can do is just go as for the hero help. So he immediately running as fast as he can Ida starting to use he's starting to create his reciprocal burst because of what happening and he Izuku after what Izuku do for him he know that Izuku trust all his hope to him to help everyone so he have to do it so he run as fast as he can Using reciprocal burst, and he made it, and he thought the hero, the hero, and everyone was the the teacher was in shock, and he, and Nezu told the the teacher to prepare and go to the USJ now. Let's go back to all of them. Korogiri teleport. Most of the U students. To render location, Izuku is teleport inside of the water area, and he is inside the lake, and he look around to see a villain, and there are one villain try to attack him, and before he can attack the villain, the villain was made with a kick to his face, and Izuku see that it was Soyu, the career of. He was so you and he say No, he's gonna say he was he's a good thing to himself. So you so you chan I don't remember what her family name is, so I will call her Suyu. So you grab Izuku and throw Izuku to the ship and when Izuku and when Izuku inside of the ship, he he still closed his eye, and he was black, and he tried to grab something, and he feel something soft and squishy, and Izuku stand up and look what he's grabbing right now, and he is grabbing Kendo boob, and Kendo immediately turned red as tomato, and. Kendo somewhat started to cry and Izuku said, 
sorry. Wal turned back and Kendo close hug himself or close himself and say, No, it's no problem. No, it's nothing. It was an accident. And so you say, Are you alright, Midor? Izuku chan? Izuku kan? Izuku say, Yeah. And they look, and what happened right now? And so you ask, What are we going to do? And Izuku say, I have an idea. Izuku say, Come on, you guys, hold on to me. Both Suyu and Kendo holding on Izuku, and Izuku create his wing and fly to the air. And he saw Kendo, Kendo, please. Can you hug? You have to hold tightly for a little bit long, a little bit, because I have to do something. And Kendo say understand. So he grab Izuku more. He hold Izuku more harder. And Izuku using using his blue magic. He grab the villain. And Izuku can, if I remember, he can use about fifty twenty five. He can use blue magic. About to about twenty five people, so he do that and he swing to twenty five villain and he make a water pot swing the villain in circle to making a water pole water vortex to make the vil the other villain suck inside the vortex vortex and is a cool. Create a Gaster Blaster and fire at them at one. And the Gaster the attack not killing them but make them unconscious. Knock them out. So Izuku flying to the ground and he was and and let go of Kendo and he let go of Kendo and Soyu. And Izuku look and say, Kendo, you can let go of me now. And Kendo realized what he's doing. And he she say, Oh right, sorry. Izuku say no problem. And then they slow and they see what happened to Aizawa. Izuku see that Aizawa is beat up. And by the normal. And Shiraki noticed them. And is and is no and he tell Nobu go kill them. Izuku has to hearing that. He immediately the Nobu go try as using his speed run at them and try to punch them before he can land a hit. Izuku made a bone barrier. After the normal punch the barrier, it somewhat cracked and destroyed. And Izuku said, Damn, this thing is strong. And Korgiri looked to what is happening and he remember who the kid is. And he, Tomura say, No, he go to Tomura and, and tell him. Who it is, and Tomura was in shock and say, "So, you are Izuku Midoriya, that master tell me about." And Izuku say, "How do you know me, and who are your master?" And Izuku and Shigaraki say, "Oh, don't you remember him? For what?" For all he did for you, for you, and Izuku now remember who it is, and he say, no. He should be dead. 
he cannot survive the attack that I make, I do to him. And Kor Shiraki say, "What? Well, he survived, and this is for what you did to my master." Shiraki told the Nomu come to come to him and so quickly. The Nomu do that, and Izuku was confused what he is doing. And and he she, ah why can I speak right now? Shiraki told Korgiri to give me the thing. Give me the serum now. The thing the his. The heat serum now. The heat serum now. And Korgiri say, as you wish. So, and he do that. And Shiraki told Korgiri to inject the normal with the heat serum. And Korgiri do that. The normal starting to add up a little. And everyone saying this, and Izuku was confused. What is happening? And then Izuku, and then the normal started to scream, and he's, and the normal somewhat mutated. The normal started to grow, on an uh, extra arm, and his eye is now pure black. And Izuku was confused while in shock to what happening. And And Shukaki laughed and say This is the you see the serum was created to make the normal more stronger. It was it was dangerous. If a human take this, they can go insane and wild and in rampage. They cannot think at all. But the normal cannot think at all, so he he can only follow my command while laughing. And Shigaki say, "Korgiri, give me the give me the gun. They have the bullet." And Korgi say, as you understood, as you wished. And he pull, and he gave Shigaraki the gun. And he, and he point at Kendo and he fire. Kendo scared and close his eye. But he, but he is. No, but Izuku blocked the attack, take the shot, and Izuku fall to the ground, and and Kendo and Suyu say, Izuku, and Izuku low, and he feel some he feel weaker, and Izuku say, what happening? And Shiraki started to laugh and say, Well, that was something that was made special for you, to make you weak. Do you like it? Master called it anti-hate. It makes you weaker. It's specially made for you, for you to make, to be more weaker. And Izuku say, damn it. Izuku, Kendo and and Tomura say, well, well then, Nobu, kill him. Kill Izuku Midoriya now. The Nobu run at Izuku with a high speed, and Izuku is panicking, so he look at. Can do and so you and he no no yeah Izuku teleport 
Kendo and Soyu back to the to the upstairs of the US chase to where 13 is and they see Uraka and I don't remember who it is with Uraka I think it was Sato no hmm no the one that can talk to animal they they look at that Uraka is try to help in 13 and 13 is injured so badly but Kendo don't care about 13 he look to where Izuku is he see that Izuku is fighting He is fighting the normal right now and Kendo starting to run back to where Izuku is. Izuku and the normal is fighting and Izuku is pushed back because of what happened to him. He is become more weaker. Izuku is having a hard time fight, try to, to protect himself for the normal. He try to summon a bone and shoot at him. It's 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 success, but the wound that the bone created disappear after after it after it gone. And the normal regeneration is ten times more faster than the normal the cannon normal, and his strength is about five percent. Five times more stronger than in the cannon. So pretty strong. Izuku move around, and then is, and then the normal punch. Izuku to the ground, and when Izuku stand up, the normal attack him. Sending him to the air, Kendo seeing all of this while running to him, and then the Nomo punch Izuku, Izuku in the mid air, and sending him flying down to the ground, making a crater, and Shigaki started to laugh, and. He say, great job, normal. And Kendo, Kendo walk to Izuku. And Izuku look to the sky and he see Kendo face. And he say, Kendo, while belating. And scoff up blood. And Kendo say, Izuku? Please, be with me. The hero will come. Ida will save you. And the normal try to walk to him. Try to go to him. But Shiraki say, Just wait, normal. You can kill him after they done. Talk. I want to see her despair. Is is good to say sorry that I cannot protect you. And it's good. And Kendo say, What are you talking about? You already protect me. But why you did that? And it's good to say, Because I love you, Kendo. And it's good now have a somewhat. His vision somewhat blurred. And he sees someone else. And then. He see a girl with somewhat like like Uraka's hairstyle with a red a red a red eye and somewhat the same liquid coming from her from her eye and he say chop rock and then is go unconscious and And Kendo screaming, Izuku, Izuku, please wait. And Kendo screaming, Izuku name. 
lot of time and he even see something he see sands it was confusing for you guys but you guys will see why Kendo starting to scream in agony and then something happened Kendo opened her eye to see a white room and as he sees he look around to see where is he where is Izuku and he's and then he hear a voice and say and the voice say greeting Kendo look behind him we look ah I cannot talk she looked behind her behind her and he sees someone with a green and yellow stripe sweater and she say who are you and and she say let me introduce myself I am Chara and I you and you are me and, Ch and Kendo was a, was confused and then he remembered everything what she did as Chara and say wait are you telling me that I am your reincarnation and Chara say yep you are and Kendo say I don't care about that I want where are we I want you send me back to where I was to where Izuku is and Chara say hold there lady hold there I will I want to give you something and Ch Kendo say what do you want what do you want to give me and Chara say well you see I want us to become ones and Kendo was confused and asked what do you mean by that and Kendo say no Chara say well you see the one that you call Izuku actually a reincarnation of my loved one and yes I ship chance and Kendo Kendo say what do you mean and Kendo say you should remember him send the skeleton what the Izuku Midoriya is incarnation of my love send the skeleton but in my a in our au yes au concept is still exists in my universe we call the killer tail our universe called killer tail and kendo remember everything and she say so why do you want to help me and can Chara say well I want to kill that abomination that hurt our love our lover I want to make the, that thing pay so what about it do you want to do that do you want to erase him do, do you want to kill him and Kendo starting to walk to her and she look at Chara and she she say yes I do Chara no Kendo shake Chara hand no grab Chara hand and the re reality Shiraki Tadunomu to Nomu you can kill them now so and Nomu starting to walk to them and Nomu try to pull a punch but before he can let a punch one of his hand cut off was cut off and Shiraki was confused Shiraki and Korgiri was confused and surprised and they looked to see it was Kendo who cut it off 
and they see that Kenro have a knife, but the knife is different. It's somewhat like an energy. And she stand up, and she and she look at the normal, and he say, "I will make you pay for what you did to Sanzi." Kendo was engulfed with a black energy, a black aura. Kendo punch. Kendo punch to normal, so hard. Send it to normal, backward, quite far, and Shigaki was in shock. To what is happening, and he was confused. How is this even possible? The, that thing should make the normal more stronger and it should amplify its court power. How? Kendo, using his knife, slash normal, cut the normal all over. Normal, the normal, try to regenerated his himself but it was quite hard for him and then Izuku getting his consciousness and the other class mate who done with all their part all of the villain they encounter Lo in the middle to see that cha that Kendo or Chara it's fighting the normal. And Izuku's low. And he said, Chara, don't tell me that Kendo was her reincarnation. Kendo gets his party to smile and started to laugh while in flashing it. And everyone was scared. Even the villain, Chara or Kendo, slash the normal all over the place, and he create his knife and make it the big, as big as her, and slash the normal in half, and sending a big blast of energy slash, cutting the wall of the USJ. And at the double part of the double, both half of the normal starting to fall down. Charas go to one of the double, the l left side of the normal, and starting to stab her, stab it as much as she can, and s with anger and like a mad woman and we were shocked and surprised and Shara started to cry and then there's something grab on Chara on Chara wrist stopping him stopping her from stabbing the dead corpse of the normal he she looked to see it was sand and to see it was Izuku and say Izuku or, or Sandy you pick what, which one you like most and Izuku go hug her and Izuku say there I'm here for you Kendo or should I say Chara Kendo starting to cry and and hug him back And then the hero come, and they see what is happening. And Sh Tom Shigaraki, no, Korgiri say, Shigaraki, we have to go now. And Kor Shigaraki look at Sen and Kendo and say, this is not over.
Just you wait. And then he go to the portal. The hero capture all the villain. And the, all the teacher. And all the teacher give the student a week, two weeks break to investig investigate what how is this even happening please no set god damn it izuku and kendo is hanging out and izuku says so you are chara so you are the incarnation of chara and kendo say yeah and you are in Ken Incarnation of sand, right? Yeah. And is Kendo say, I was worried after seeing what happened to you. I thought I lose you. I thought I lose you forever. I don't want. I don't want you to. I I don't want to lose you. She started to cry, and Izuku go to her and, and hug her. And, say, and then he let go and say, I will not. I love you. So, and I will protect you. Whatever it. And I will protect you. Whatever it costs. And both of them say. And both of them. Getting closer and closer. And then both of them kiss. For a, a passionate kiss. For a mo for an hour, no, for a minute because an hour is too long. And he's gonna say, "Chara, I love you," and Chara reply, "I love you too." And then they hear a clap, and they look. They they look to see it was his Tashi, Izuku father, and midnight, and they say. Congrats, gitu. And Izuku and Kendo. Izuku and Kendo. Say, how long did you guys there? Oh yeah, and Midnight was there. If I not say that. And Kendo say, how did, how long have you guys been there? And Midnight say, oh, we just come here after... Both of you kissing. When boy we seeing you both kissing. So we wait until both of you done and confess both of your love. And Kendo and Izuku started to blush. Red. And Isashi started to laugh and say, So when will I have the grandkid? And both Izuku and Kendo Started to blush more and Izuku shout, Dad, really? And Ke and Hisashi say, What? I want a grandchild. And Izuku say, Can you wait for a moment? You have to wait for that. I and Hisashi say, So, you plan to do it with her then? And Izuku started to blush and say, God damn it, get out! Both of you now, and both of them started to get out of the of the room. Why I cannot speak at all right now? Izuku say sorry for what my dad do, and Izuku say Chara, no, Kendo, would you love to go on a date with me? And Kendo, after hearing that, she started to cry with with a cry of happiness, and he. She immediately jump up on set and they hug him and say, Yes, I do. I want to go out with you. So I will end it right here. And the next part will be a filler. So if you don't like the filler part, you don't need to watch it. But anyway, please leave a subscribe. Ah, please leave a like and subscribe. See ya next time. Bye.